Hello, hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. I am back again. I'm back on my grind and I am here to fuck shit up. Um, after having proceeding to have a mental breakdown today, I am in the process of recovering and I'm recovering very nicely. I uh, now I'm in the mood to stream, so I am going to let's see is the audio okay for this? It might be a little low. My god, why do I need to download shit? It gives me this thing every time. Like, every single time! Oh my god. And it's gonna tell me that the program is not responding. And No, it's not. But it probably would've. If I wasn't streaming, I'd've been like, This program is not responding, can you please wait? Or please close it right now. But we got Moran! Moran is here! And we did last- the last- uh, earlier today, we did the- uh, story for her, at least the beginning of the story, um, where she was, she was accused of killing people, and now, I collected twice today? That's weird. Oh, I can do more. I can do more of her, of her story then. Okay, maybe it was because I hadn't done it before the reset yet, so it it automatically thought I was doing the next day. So it, it thinks that yeah, because I came on to claim the first one for the white before the daily clock reset, and. This is probably just gonna tell me about the back- dirty backyard. Well, we can't do any new battles here, so we'll just do that one. But we- I think we do have more golden dragon emblems, so we can do that, but I wanna- First, do the basic necessities. So let's get her done. Let's go through this as quick as possible. Um, just so we can keep moving on and get to Modam's new story. Now that I think I will be replenished with uh, tokens. So that I can reveal more of her story and see what's going on. Um, yeah. Curious how it'll end. And curious that Sugar, how Sugar knew about all this stuff than before Moran did. You'd think she would know, but she didn't know. It's strange. About the mist and stuff, and... The guy before said he was... said that there was a new add-on to the factory, and that was making pharmaceuti pharmaceuticals. And... She didn't really question that, because she was like, whatever. But at the time, I think he meant, like, that's the facility where we're developing the mist. So I'm curious if that's where she's gonna go back to in order to figure out where the mist is being made. Okay, well, Chatterbox is a little annoying because his first attack just almost takes out my front person. Unless I block, which it can help take away some of the damage. Block. Yeah, but now her shield's down. See how well we can do against them. God, 
No! Why do you have to take out Modernia? Hurry! Reload! Reload! Oh god. There goes everybody. Can I get it to four? At least we got it to three. Three is good. Um, After so yeah, that, we can do that. that. And next up we have the arena. And should I change my team from in here? I mean, it's generally the all around the best team that I could have based on my Nikkei's and their abilities and based off of meta statistics. So, yeah. Oh. Damn, that was fast. I guess I can go with 206 versus 214. That would be a little more fair than if I did the other ones. I need to finish quickly so I can spend time with you. Okay, we got it. We got it just fine. Let's go ahead and do this one. They've got Maxwell, Blanc, and some other ones I didn't see. So this will become a memory too? I think we got it. Oh, no. oh. oh well. It's fine. Let's see. This one is about 200, so it'll be close. But we will have to wait and see. I guess their team composition was better than mine, even though. Even though I have, like, Anne, who can almost recover a fallen enemy after they've, like, who can recover a fallen enemy as one of her skills. Imagine if Red Hood popped off right there and she just hit her ult and she killed all of us all at the same time. That would be so frustrating because it's happened before where she, she carries the whole team and they've all been down and then she pops off her ult and then kills all of us. Rank 61. Alright, and then who shall I do? Uh, this is 203. We'll do 208. And this is Emma, Noah, Privatey, Pepper, Diesel. Diesel versus Diesel. Ready? Hello. So it should be. Why is it so cold all of a sudden here? I and mean, is it just because I've I've been hibernating under the blankets because I just wanted to stay there because of how warm it was? Be careful, everyone. My god, Emma, stop healing! Okay, 
Okay, we stopped her. Drake, no! Okay, Drake's down. But I think we can still do this. This is a three all top off game. May victory be ours. Come on. It's a three v two. It's a two v one. Okay, we got it. Hopefully Scarlet can come in clutch here and kill them all. Sometimes people put their weakest team as their last team, so it could be like one of those situations. It was close. It was close though. Um, let's see. 212. Let's do 212. And then we'll collect our rewards. And then go to this tribe tower and see Did what ones are open. Hope I think on all of them I'm under quali I'm under leveled for all of them, but it doesn't really matter because I probably can still do them anyways, and as long as they're not impossible. We got Red Hood off before she could, but she only shot at Jackal, and Jackal doesn't take damage from Red Hood. Off, Red Hood, Red Hood off. Still one? Oh, I thought I thought that last that I thought that last one was our decider. Nope, apparently I just won. Okay, cool. Cool. Cool with me. Um, okay, let's do the tribe tower now. And Okay, just the illusion tower is open. I expect your operations to be well planned. I can try. No different from real Just try. There's no harm in trying. Get serious, okay? Oh. I just have it on auto because I don't if unless I need to actually do it then I'll do it but I'm just gonna let it try automatically first to see if it can win. Get the fucking healer. Oh, 
Oh god. No. We're not strong. I, I, I can give it a shot manually. But that guy at the end there makes it really hard to... Makes it impossible to pop off and get that ult in so that we can get rid of those last few remaining raptures. I don't know if I should aim for these little guys or aim for the big guy. Ugh. I just don't think I'm strong enough. I don't I don't think I'm strong enough to do it. The ult wasn't ready, so I don't think I can I don't think I can beat it. I think I need to should generally be stronger. Did I do I have can I do the tribe tower any further? No, it's 13k and I'm at 12k. Probably no chance of me getting that. I still have the lost sector that I have to do, but... But I don't... I don't think I'm strong enough to do it yet. Sugar and I take the lead with Mordon following behind. There's something I want to ask you. What is it? You look so dreadfully serious. Why are you so untrusting of Mordon? Hmm? What do you mean? You got really emotional back there. That's not like you. Then how am I usually? You're usually sharp, analytical, objective, not emotional. On top of that, you're usually trying to kiss me any chance you get. So that's how you see me? And there's one more thing. If anything, I'd much rather like to ask you how it is that you do know about this mist. I'm not, a I'm not at liberty to reveal that information. Yes. Fog Hollow is Peony Association's territory. And apparently all of this mist stuff is being produced there. Not only does that production- not only that, production volume has recently increased over 20-fold. And you're telling me that the person overseeing this place has no clue any of- had no clue any of this was happening? You'll have to excuse me if I find that a little hard to believe. How did you already know everything about Fog Hollow in the Mist? What's going on? Heh. <laughs> you're asking me questions that I really can't answer. How do you think I know? Have you been to Fog Hollow before? You're as sharp as ever. Yes, you're right. I went to Fog Hollow not long ago. I'd gotten a request. What kind of request? I'm sorry, but that's confidential. I'll fill you in later. For now, what I can tell you is that this is related to that village. That's why I went with there. Then I found out about the mist that was being produced. But when I got there, you know what the villagers told me? But you know what the villagers told me? Let me tell you something. You have no idea how dangerous this stuff is. It could The harm it could do to people. Of course I know. Yet, and yet, you're going to continue making it? Click. W wait We didn't want things to be like this, either. But if we don't make this, we're dead. We have cons- con We have consciousness- Consciousness- Oh my god, these big words. Conscience- Conscientiousness too. That's why we made- what's, That's why we intentionally made so little of it. Just enough to get by. But then, the higher-ups threatened us and demanded that we make more. They said if that we didn't comply, they'd kill us all. 
You... I shouldn't have told you all that. Are the Peony Associations the one ordering you to do this? Yes. They told you the Peony Associations were the one making them do this? Yes. They were making mist under, du under duress. Their lives were being threatened. Many men, women, and children alike. Why didn't you stop them from making it? If I had, I would have been sentenced, sentencing that entire village to death. They were weak people beginning being taken advantage of by so strong. I had no choice but I but I let it to, but to let it slide. After that, you and Moran came came looking for me, in order to find out the truth and keep you safe. I accepted. You nearly got killed back there, so I apologize if I got a bit emotional. Having said that, I'm still not letting Moran off the hook just yet. I'll be keeping my eye on her. I see. No, wait. You saw so. You saw mist being produced in the village before, with your own eyes? Right. Then why didn't you tell Moran? Even if I told her, she wouldn't have been believed me. That's just the tip of a person she is. Once she trusts someone, she'll have faith in them until the very end. Her belief in those people who will never waver until she sees it for herself. I mean, you still could have told her anyways, as like a, hey, you know... It's like a, hey, you know, this is stuff is happening, do you realize it? Are you aware? Sugar, you were, you were getting all emotional back there with us. You were like, no, can't touch the commander. Oh, no cutscene? Okay. With high risk comes high reward. Isn't that why we fight? We're almost there. Once we pass through this area, Moron! Oh. <laughs> I thought he said moron like the expression like you're a moron, not like moron like her name. Oh my god, okay. Moron, is that you? Yes. Please, can you give me some mist? I'll, I'll die without it. Russell, is this what you're looking for? Moron takes the mist out the mist that Jin showed us earlier. Yes, that's it. Moron, what are you? As I set forward to stop Moron, Sugar intervenes. Hold on, let's just watch for a moment. Okay. Just one, one little hit is all I need. Like that one you're holding. Please, can I have it? Please, I'm begging you. Sure, I can give it to you. But in return, you've got to answer a question for me. Anything. There are a lot of prying eyes and ears out here though, so let's go somewhere quiet. Uh, the man leads us into a sketchy alley. Here, take it. Thank you, thank you. Now, time for my question. Hey! Yes? You're not- you're no junkie. You've never tried mist before, have you? What- what are you- I can tell by the look at your eyes. I've seen people who are hooked on mist. Their eyes are as blank as corpses. Yours, on the other hand, are crystal clear. What- what, what kind of claptrap is that? Crash. Modan punches the hole in the wall next to the man's head. Oh! Don't kill me! What, afraid that I'll hurt you? Or worse? Th that doesn't make any sense either. All the others who are jo josing for a fix couldn't care less about if their well be less, less about their well-being. They rushed in headlong asking for mist. Uh, uh... Which brings me to my question. Who ordered this stuff? You look like someone under- look like someone's underling. Who the hell ordered you to do all this? I- I can't say! No? Crack. Maybe you should need a little convincing. Burr, burr. The man desperately attempts to stifle the sound of his vibrating phone. Burr, burr. The vibrations continue. Hmm? What is that? Hand it over. N no, please. Tap. Hey, partner, catch. What the? When did you? I catch the phone and open it. Hey, what are you doing? How could you bungle this so badly? All I said was that I needed some more time. 
Yet you're incapable of carrying out even the simplest of orders. And now you've made a mess of everything. You've embarrassed me and broke your promise. Therefore, your life is forfeit. Ah, actually, you have a son, don't you? Perhaps he will fare better than his pathetic father. You can take the small amount of solace in that. Tap. The man frantically snatches his phone back and reads the messages. Then, heh. <laughs> Sixo, you dirty run, son of a bitch. Sixo? Beep, beep, beep. Huh? That sound. That's... Cadet, get down! Ba boom A massive explosion rings out, and the man is no more. Did he have a bomb on him? Engaging the enemy. That was weird. Enemy aircraft has been shot down. Are they strapping bombs onto each other, or was that air an area just happened to be rigged with a bomb? I heard the beeping and I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's a bomb. I'm like certain that's a bomb right now, but that's happening here. The sound of the song of victory is here. Thanks to Moran and Sugar springing into, we were able to evade the explosion, but just barely. Sugar. Cadet, are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Thanks to you. Thank goodness. Who was that guy? His body had been rigged with explosives. I knew it! I said his- they rigged him, didn't he? His body had been rigged with explosives. He brought us here so he could blow himself up and take us with him. That's why he brought us to the sketchy alleyway. There's- oh, it's- I was gonna say, don't go to the fucking sketchy alleyway, but Moran is probably used to that stuff because she's an underworld- underworld queen. I don't think that's it. He seemed just as surprised as us when that beeping started. Besides, I had barely put any pressure on him and he was already be begging for his life. Hardly the type to be a suicide bomber. I mean, the guy, there was the guy on the text message who said, like, you know, you forfeit your life now. So, like, maybe it would make, maybe he was a, had a bomb on him, but it wasn't intentionally made to go off. They were going to do it at another time. Like, they were going to send him in to, like, do something else. But he did seem frantic, like, you know, like, he didn't expect, like, he wasn't, Maybe he agreed to it, but then the second he actually saw it happening, he got scared and he wanted to leave, but he couldn't get the bomb off him because obviously he would die no matter what. Like, there's no time to get rid of the bomb that's rigged to you. If that had been his aim, he could have done it as soon as he brought us here. Hmm. Hmm? Who's texting me? Well darn, considering that you read this message, that must mean you're still alive. What? What useless trash that man was. Failing me even in death. Are you the one responsible for that explosion? The message was read, but there's no explanation. Did you get a message from Sixo? Not sure, is this the one? I show him the messages, sugar. Yeah. Are they from the same sender from our dearly departed friend's photo? Dearly departed friend's phone. That exact same. Then that must mean Sixo is the one responsible for this. Sixo. I swear I've heard that name before. But you're not sure? No, it sounds familiar, but I'm not positive. Well, allow me to fill you in. She is deeply involved in the dark net. There are rumors going around that she may be the master. Why would someone like her attack us? Good question. Maybe she's trying to stop us from reaching Fog Hollow. What makes you say think that? I don't really have a reason. Just gut feeling. At any rate, let's hurry and get there. Fog Hollow. A thick fog enshrouds the entire village to the extent where you can barely see three feet in front of you. The moment we enter the fog... S save me! We hear the sounds of gunfire. I know karate! Bitches. I watched many self-defense videos. I am YouTube educated. But I can't- I can deflect my bullets with my hand. Pshow. Reload. Pshow. Besides, I have Sugar and Moron with me. Even though her name sounds like a Moron. A Moron. But I'm just saying Moron because I'm trying to sound- I'm trying to say her name like how it's pronounced. Or like how it's meant to be said. Moron. And Sugar- Sugar is just Sugar. But, uh, so- Sugar. Sugar. Proud of this outcome. One more. See if, can, if we can figure out where those where the firearms are coming from. Nope. Wait. One more. Can we get can we get some info? 
Um, armed residents approach those who have been gunned down, rummaging and looting the bodies for mist. Hmm. Moran approaches them silently. Tap. And snatch the mist from them. Click, click. She's good. The armed residents surround us. Give it back. Our lives depend on it. These fools tried to abs abscond with it. Did you make these yourselves? Here in this village? Yes. Why? Why would you do such a thing? You ordered us to. What did you what do you mean? I would have never issued such an order. How do you know Sixo? Fess up. So, you already know. I'll tell you how I know her. Our entire village is being held hostage by that sadist. She's using that mist you're using to hold it. You're, you're, she's using that mist that you're holding against us. Why didn't you say anything? Telling you wouldn't have changed anything. How can you be so sure? You didn't even try to tell us. If we went to stay, if we want to stay alive, then we need to produce mist every day. It's not that much, so leave us be. That's what you would. That's what. Is that what you would, would have had, had us say to you? Hmm. Sixo caught us making mist. And she's blackmailed us ever since, forcing us to produce more and more. You have to help us. If we said that, do you really think he, she, you would come to our aid? Of course I would have. Huh? You all are under the protection of the Peony Association. We value loyalty above all else. Betrayal is not in our vocabulary. If only you had reached out before it came to this. Before betraying us. I would have helped you somehow. Moran, you remember the factory? Where you said you saw all those people? Don't tell me. Yes, that's right. They were used as example to show us what we would ha would have what would happen if we request help or to fail to meet the quota. We were so scared. So all of this is because of Sixo? Ugh. Leave the mist here and leave. If we can't meet our quota, we're all dead. Absolutely not. I can't do that. It's because of these poison, of this poison that the Outer Rim is in chaos. And you want to continue peddling it? Get rid of all of it right now. If you don't, I will. Unarmed residents rush out and cling to Moran. Please save us, Moran. We have to do this to survive. Sixo even planted explosives throughout the village. Please, I don't want to die. You fools. If you're not above begging, why don't you ask for help sooner? I could have helped you and those people wouldn't have had to die. Why? Why? Please, please spare us. Let go of it. I said let go. Grab. Sugar, what are you doing? Sugar holds onto Moran's hand, which is firmly clenching the mist. You can't take it. Leave these people alone. You can't take it? I really like your cadence when you read the characters. Oh, thank you. Let I like, that's this. my favorite part, is reading all the characters' fun stories and doing all the voices. Also, I think I need to switch up my filters a bit because, like, um... I can't seem to shout when I'm with this- when I'm with this mic, at least. It cuts off, so I don't know if, like, when I reach a certain pitch, if it decides to... If it decides to just not work anymore, because that's just the way it is. This battle's finished. Moving on. You said it yourself. If you found out the mist was being made here, you'd destroy this f factory and everything in it. I remember. And now that I've confirmed what's happening, that's exactly what I'll do. Yes, that's what I must do. I will tear down everything with my own hands. I won't let you do that. What? If you're in intent on destroying this place, you'll have to get through me. If you think I'm kidding, try me. What is this? Why are you taking this so far? I could ask you the same thing. We protected these people and they thanked us by stabbing us in the back. As we speak, they're syn synthesizing a drug that kills people. Do you know how many lies are being ruined by this because of this mist? You've seen what it does to people. But how is, did you get stabbed in the back exactly? Is it because you mean like... But you don't know if those messages were put up by Six or if they were put up by the people. Are she, is she saying that the messages that Moran killed those people were put up by the villagers? Because that would make sense that the villagers 
Sixo killed the villagers and then told the people to write that Moron did it. And now she's saying that they're betraying her by saying that she killed all these people that she really didn't kill. And now she wants to destroy the factory and everything and Sugar wants to keep it there. Maybe there's like a halfway point where we can like destroy the mist but not destroy the people. Destroy Sixo. That's kind of the idea. Destroy Sixo. This is beyond the pale. The time for judgment has come to Fog Hollow. The people here are powerless. Many people here died, did not want to produce mist. But their lives were being threatened. They had no choice but to make it. If you destroy this place, what do you think will happen to these people? They're already on the edge of the preface. If you go through with this, you'll be tying the noose around their necks and they're throwing them off. If that is what must happen, then so be it. They've left me with no choice. A crime is a crime. Countless innocents have suffered because of this because of these people. If we want to solve this problem, we have to tear it out by the roots. I know this is the right decision. No, you don't. You don't know that. You haven't had any dealings with the 60. Nothing you say will change my mind. Modon and Sugar stand opposite each other, look locked in a vicious stare down, ready to pounce. Cadet, this place is dangerous. Come to me. Partner, this way. The situation is quickly becoming precarious. I... Uh, I have to pick one? Who do I pick? Uh... I mean, they're both right. Uh... Hmm, who's right? At least it's not timed. Um, I don't think destroying the village is the right thing to do. So I think Sugar is being more reasonable. Saying that we can't just destroy everything. There's another way we can get to 6 -0. So I look at Sugar. Do what you think is right. Alright, it's time to trail down. Cadet. Ta -da -da. Pa -pa -pa. Without any further discussion, the two Nikkeis charge at each other. Everyone into the factory! The villagers snatch the mist Moron had dropped on the ground, and then proceed to rush towards the factory. Pow. Sugar's fist slams into Moron's cheek. Moron's cheek. Arg! Pow. Moron delivers a crushing body blow to Sugar. Ugh. A few moments later. <sighs> Both their bodies are riddled with cuts and bruises, both large and small. Each of them is winded and attempting to catch their breath. As I go and try to break up the altercation, bang! A loud explosion rings out from the direction of the factory. Damn it! Partner, let's go! Okay. Sugar revs the engine and we zoom off on her bike towards the factory. What is going on? Ah, oh, the explosion in the factory went off. This has to be Sixo's doing. But I don't understand how she said she wouldn't touch the factory. That's who she is. Sixo never has been one to honor her word. Mom, wake up! Ugh. We've got a lot of casualties here. And we've got to we've got to extinguish this fire as well. Partner, can you help me? I'm on it. We go to we get we get we got to work. Moving the mo moving those who are injured and providing first aid. You're hurt too. It's okay. Just a superficial scratch from Modan. No, it's not okay. I tend to Sugar's wound. Have you changed your mind regarding what we should do to this village? Absolutely not. I still feel the same. Does this have anything to do with Sixo by any chance? Uh, you seem to know more about Sixo than you should. Perhaps that explains why you've been so worried about this whole venture. So, it was that obvious, huh? Yes, you're right. I receive a request from Sixo. I am to protect Fog Hollow. What? You remember how I mentioned I used to live in the Outer Rim? At that time, I was doing a lot of work for Sixo. Dangerous assignments at that. That When was this? A while back when I was in a different squad. Back then, there was a person in the outer rim who didn't know who I was. But I wasn't re-owned. I was infamous. People in the streets avoided me. There were rumors that wherever I went, bad things were sure to follow. It's hard imagining you like that. That was the old me. I didn't think for myself. I simply followed orders like a mindless machine. Until one day, I heard something terrible happened because of my actions. Sixo sent a request to protect Fog Hollow? Well, because... 
she doesn't want her mist to be stopped being produced. You monster! You said we were family! You said we could protect- you said you would protect us! How could you do this? What are you going to do now, huh? Answer me! After that, I was washed my hands of Sixo. I didn't want to have any- I didn't want to have to recall any more memories like that one. Then why did you accept the request? My plan was to take a calculated risk and try to dig up some information on Sixo. I figured out I could at least turn some turn something on her, but instead, I got myself involved in another gigantic mess like I always do. She knew perfectly well. This is how I would react to what was going on here. She had everything planned out in advance. She's the one who asked me to wear this outfit. You and Modan have mentioned this outfit several times. Yes, it's what I always wore back when I was oper operating in the Outer Rim. The instant anyone saw these clothes, they knew to stay away. They were like a scarlet, they were like a scarlet letter, a marker letting everyone know the sins I'd committed. Sit 601 wants to remind me of what I did. She doesn't want me to fall, forget how big of a part I played in all of it. That's why I want to stop Moron from doing this. Once a sin has been committed, it can never be undone. You can repent and you can regret, but you can't never tr truly go back to the way you were. Step, step. M miss Moron is here, partner. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. So stay back, okay? Ugh, I don't want them to fight. Don't fight. You guys were supposed to be working together. But now you're at you're at each other's throats. I still feel like I don't really understand the whole, like, thing between, like, Sugar and Sixo. Like, apparently Sugar did some... did some stuff with with Sixo back in her past and she regrets it. But she says, like, sins can never be undone. They're there forever. So, like, it, does that mean that, like, Sugar has, like, done some stuff that she regrets doing? And... Now she's like a changed person because of that past, but her promise, but she's, she doesn't want to make any more, pro any more, any more bad decisions, but she still thinks that protecting the village is the right thing to do because Sixo said so, but why would she listen to Sixo? I thought Sixo was like the bad guy, like Sixo was the person that we all were against, generally. So... What does that entail for Sixo? Why does she want to follow Sixo's orders? Do I need to read that again in order to fully understand what she's talking about? Or am I just- is it just really poorly- am I poorly not understanding this? Cadet! Cadet! Where were you and Sugar talk- what were you and Sugar talking about, Cadet? Cadet? Darn. I'm dying to know, but it's not like I can eavesdrop. Fine. An assassin never listens into someone else's conversation. It's our code and honor. Haha. -ha. But be truthful with me. What were you doing so close to Sugar? Were you- what are you whispering in each other's ears? Wait. I'm getting deja vu. This reminds me of how Sakura and Rosanna would talk each other about without me. Cadet! Did you turn off notifications? Is your phone out of battery? Read my texts. Alright, we're nearly there. Be sure to let me know when you see my messages. Uh, Moran, I don't know... I don't know what to say. I... I took Sugar's side because I wanted things to end peacefully and not end in more murder, but I didn't think destroying the whole fucking village would be a good idea. So, I don't know. Hit boss, is there any chance we can end our session early today? I've got a date with Noir. Bring, can you bring me with you? Of course! Noir will be thrilled. Where should we go then? I spent some time with Blong thinking about an itiner itinerary. Noir, you're the person I cherish most, big boss. Um, I, I... Do... 
Do you want to go for a walk in the park with me? Phew, I finally said it. I spent a short counseling session with Noir. Greenhorn, I imagine, imagine you had a dog. Now imagine that the dog was doing its business in a place where people don't usually go. Would you clean it up or just leave it? I'll still clean it up. That's right, of course. You have to clean it up. You can't just leave it there if nobody's around. You're gonna make us all dog owners look bad. Hey, you're a pretty good dog owner, Greenhorn. I don't have the heart to tell Litter I don't actually have a dog. I don't- I don't have a dog, Litter. You only- you, uh, dogs- I've been looking for a new hobby, but I can't decide what I'd like to do. Take up a high-energy sport. Hmm, Nikkei's don't technically need any exercise, but sports could be a nice way to pass the time. I'll look into it. Drake and I talk more about different hobbies. Ugh, I trained with R Rumi, and my entire body feels so sore now. She really put me through the ringer. Call it what you will, but I call it abuse. You're right, let's go talk to her. Yes, let's give her a piece of our minds. Actually, now that I think about it, I never adjusted my pace when I go jogging with her. I think we're both just trying to lift each other up. Folkwing and I talk more about n numbers of nip. What? I thought- last time I did that other option and she- and she was mad at me for that. Before I go to bed every night, Rappy sings Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to me. Do you listen to any songs before you go to sleep? Hmm, never heard of that one. I'll try to give it a listen one of these nights before I go to sleep. Marin and I talk about other music that puts you to sleep. Well, if I- I, I don't know. One minute. All right, sorry about that. My mom just walked in and I wanted to say hi to her since she brought food, but I'm gonna wait to eat until I finish this stream. Um, right, Tove. I wanted to get Tove. She's all the all the way back here. I wonder what the unlimited members think they. I wonder what the unlimited members were like when they first started. Somehow I get the feeling they were amazing even even then. They might have even been a super rookie like me. <laughs> they might have been more sloppy than you think. Hmm, you're right. Even now they still so sh still show a human side. For me, that side is more approachable and likable. I. I I've learned- I learned how Tove has adapted the Unlimited Squad. Uh, I have two more. Teacher! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Anne. Apparently everyone greets each other like this during the holidays. It feels nice, especially coming from you. I have a conversation about Christmas greetings with Anne. The year is nearly over. Do you have any vacation plans? Hell, none. Help me plan something. Does that mean you could spend time with me? Sure. You bet. You you better be serious because I am. I'll make this a vacation that you will never forget. I spend time with Ruby planning. All vacation planning. We're going on a trip, guys, together. Ooh. I wonder if Ruby feels weird about Winter Shopper Ruby, like. They're like, hi, we're technically the same person, but I'm just wearing different clothes than you are, and I use a different gun. No, I don't. I use a di I use a different gun. But they... I don't know, I feel weird about it. Like, what if there was another version of you walking around that was exactly like you, but they just wore different clothes? It's weird.
Did that count as... Okay, that brought her up a bunch. <laughs> Since we leveled up that good piece of armor. Still have a long ways to go before we reach that fourth checkpoint. Let's see. Oh, we can recruit, that's right. Uh, come on. Let's see if we get mud on. Bam. Nope. Okay, maybe this will be the one. Bam. Nope. Soldier OW at your service. Do I hear another one? Bam. Nice done. Where to next? Sometimes I feel like I can tell if I'm going to get something based on how I feel before it happens. Okay, recruit once a day. No, nope. leave it to me. All right, I'm almost to a hundred on the recruit. Do I actually have a chance? No, not yet. Uh, that person's uh, name, club name was Giga Chad. <laughs> Recruit one, Nike. Oops, accidentally. I'm gonna finish off the stream here once I take. Once I can I? Encounter. Okay, I can. Let's see Moving if I can so move it. Move a little bit further forward in the story. It's nice to be a hero every once in a while. Boss has like eight health bars. Nah, this will be. We got it. We got it. It's fine. Did you see that? If not, then just ignore me. No, we can't do. It. Can we do this one? No, of course not. Um, let's see. gems and if we do will this be our last oh yes okay please please send prayers in the chat we're doing a 10 uh, oh one one missiles naga I can't wait to be in a graduating class we got naga again I'm happy with that don't you know? I already- I already have Naga- a bunch of Nagas, but it's alright. She's- I love Naga. I have her now at- for enhancement too. Will you be giving us battle lessons in the future too? So yeah. Whenever I get tired of school, can I come and see you? I can keep it a secret. Alright, well I think that'll do it for everything that I can do here today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. I'm thinking maybe tomorrow. I don't have anything going on unless I go out to socialize. But yeah, I'll do my... Maybe come back tomorrow and we'll finish the dirty backyard story and see... Uh, see what happens to Sugar and the villagers. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.